Hey guys, and thanks for stopping on in for today's MLB Video Play of the Day. If you guys are interested in getting more pick content, be sure to head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which is linked down in the video description over at our main website. You can access our daily free play, as well as all our top confidence premium bets. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel for more of this pick video content in the future. Heading into today's contest, we're going to talk about the matchup here between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Arizona Diamondbacks on the year the Cardinals standing right now 35 and 41 overall, posting uh, just a 15 and 21 mark on the road. While the Arizona Diamondbacks have gotten off to a tremendous start through the first half of the season, standing 50 and 28 overall, in a highly impressive 30 and 10 on their home field, winning 75% of their home games thus far on the year. In Game One of this series, the St. Louis Cardinals. Came up short against the Diamondbacks, falling by a final of 5-6. to six. Cardinals not having the kind of year that they were hoping for, but still very much alive in the competitive NL Central. Uh, first to fifth place in the NL Central is separated by seven and a half games. Milwaukee is in first place, and St. Louis currently is sitting four and a half games back of the first place Milwaukee Brewers. The Cardinals this year have leaned more on their pitching uh, as this group ranks 8th in baseball in total team earned run average, while their batting ranks 24th in baseball in total runs scored. Today, the Cardinals are going to be sending out veteran 35-year-old right-hander Adam Wainwright, and Wainwright's been getting some pretty strong run support this season, but hasn't been posting the kind of numbers that we've been typically seeing out of him throughout his uh, very decorated career as Wainwright right now through 15 starts has posted a 5.35 ERA with a 1.54 whip. Both those numbers significantly higher than his career averages. But Wainwright also sitting a respectable 7-5 and five overall, which is a testament to the kind of run support that he's been able to get more often than not. Wainwright looked much better in his last outing, which came at home against the Pittsburgh Pirates, where Wainwright posted seven innings giving up two hits, one earned run, two walks to five strikeouts. This was a really good sign for Wainwright, who was coming off of a very poor outing prior against the Baltimore Orioles on the road where he logged just one and two-thirds innings, giving up seven hits, nine earned runs, one walk, and one strikeout. And actually, in two of his last four starts, Wainwright has given up nine earned runs and has been unable to get to the fifth inning. So that's something to keep in mind heading into this one as well, as Wainwright's going to be going on the road today against what can be a very dangerous Arizona Diamondbacks offensive unit. And it's also important to note that those two starts in his last four outings that he got roughed up both came on the road, one against the Orioles and one against uh, the Cincinnati Reds. The home team, the Arizona Diamondbacks, they have currently been riding on a four-game winning streak, which has allowed them to keep pace with the red-hot Los Angeles Dodgers. In the NL West, it's a very competitive race amongst the top three teams, but Arizona and uh, the Dodgers have been even separating themselves a little bit from Colorado as of late. Uh, Arizona, with that 50-28 and 28 overall record, sits a game and a half back of the L.A. Dodgers in what's shaping up to be a pretty tremendous race out there in the NL West. The Arizona Diamondbacks have been playing tremendous ball over the past month. It seems like this group has been winning just about every game that they've been playing over the past uh, two to three weeks here. And... The difference maker for Arizona this year has definitely been their pitching. Uh, last year, a lot was expected out of the Arizona Diamondbacks, and they fell flat. But this year, expectations were a bit more tempered coming into the season, and the Diamondbacks have gone on to far surpass those expectations. This is a group that's shown really strong on both sides of the ball, ranking fourth in baseball in total runs scored, as well as second in team earned run average. Very impressive stuff from the Arizona Diamondbacks so far this season. Arizona today is going to be setting out 27-year-old right-hander Zach Godley. And on the year, he's posted a 2.53 ERA and a 1 whip through his 9 starts. And in his last outing, on the road against a very solid offensive Colorado Rockies offensive unit, uh, he went on to pitch 7 innings, giving up 4 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 walk to 8 strikeouts in what was yet another very strong outing, uh, which has become very 
uh, the norm for what we've been seeing out of Godley so far in the nine games that he's pitched this season. So heading into today's matchup, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks who have been almost unbeatable on their home field this season. And we have the St. Louis Cardinals who came up short in that game one here of this series against the Diamondbacks. We think that Arizona has the edge on the mound. And of course, in terms of their offensive output, uh, they're definitely having the edge there as well. And they do come into this one as favorites, but not as significant favorites as one might expect given everything that's playing into their favor. So we're going to go ahead and side with the home team today, taking the Arizona Diamondbacks straight up at about minus 130 on the money line as our MLB video play of the day. And again, guys, if you're interested in more pick video content in the future, be sure to click the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and also head on over to our main website, stumpthespread.com, which is linked in the video description to access our daily free play as well as all of our top confidence premium bets. So thanks, guys, for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.